A new development to report in our ongoing original investigation into an anti-malarial drug that veterans say caused devastating side effects. A retired United States Army general is now calling on the Department of Veterans Affairs and other senior military leaders to step up and take responsibility. The highly decorated general spoke with our investigative reporter, Andrea McCarran. You hear many, many presidents and many leaders say what we owe them, we can never pay them back. Well, here's, here's a way to pay them back. Retired Army General Donald Bolduc led 10 deployments, survived a bomb blast, a helicopter crash, and several firefights. He received two Combat Valor Awards, five Bronze Stars, and two Purple Hearts. But his most challenging battle may lie ahead, holding the United States government accountable for any psychiatric or physical issues that may have been caused by an anti-malarial drug called mefloquine. It was ordered for tens of thousands of American service members and we owe it to those who served our country uh, to treat them properly uh, when they have side effects. In an ongoing WUSA 9 investigation, veterans from around the world have told us that weekly anti-malarial pill caused life-changing, career-ending symptoms, side effects that have lasted for decades. I experienced depression. Gruesome night terrors. I'm being seen for anxiety. And paranoia that mimics symptoms of PTSD. I have ringing in the ears. Memory loss. I'm 35 and I get vertigo. I had rotational tremors in my arms. And gas gastrointestinal distress. Well, I hope they have the moral courage to own up to it. Um, whatever the liability is, we need to uh, we, we need to own up to it by taking care of the health and welfare of our citizens, and particularly those that uh, serve, served our country. From the 1980s to 2013, the Department of Defense ordered service members deployed to Somalia, Iraq, Afghanistan, and elsewhere to take mefloquine to prevent malaria. The mosquito-borne disease can be fatal. We attempted to give folks the best possible agent to protect them to the highest degree. To do any less would have done them a disservice. But starting in 2013, the DOD backed off mefloquine, using it only as a last resort. That was after the Food and Drug Administration issued a black box warning. That's the FDA's strictest alert on a drug label when there's evidence of a serious hazard. I couldn't drive. Uh, the reason I couldn't drive was because of hypervigilance. General Bolduc knows the side effects firsthand. He took the drug during multiple deployments and experienced devastating symptoms, including night terrors and paranoia, even after he returned home. I had to drive like I was in Afghanistan. You know, every stimulus around me uh, was a, you know, what, you know, was a threat. In 2008, drug maker Roche stopped producing the brand name version of mefloquine called Larium. Two generic forms are still available in the United States by prescription only. Three other generics have been discontinued. So how does our government make this right? General Bolduc says the VA should start by contacting every single veteran that took the drug and letting them know they may be experiencing some symptoms. VA doctors need to be trained to recognize them. And he believes every health assessment done on a service member or veteran should include questions about mefloquine. Please, please, senior leaders, Take this on. It has to do with the health of the current force and then the health of our veterans uh, later on in life. Uh, and that's hugely important for our country. As a Brigadier General, Bolduc was the commander of special operations across the entire continent of Africa. In that role, he was responsible for more than 1,700 military personnel operating in 28 countries throughout Africa and Europe, Leslie. And so shouldn't a plea from someone of that stature get the attention of the Pentagon? Well, it should, and he is just one of a growing chorus of voices demanding accountability on this issue right now. All right. For more on this investigation, head to our mobile app or website for extended interviews Andrea has conducted over the last few months.